Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and I received one crazy question from our friend Mr. PG Gan. He asked me, Dear Nelka, have you did any Dilux 4.3 insert round shape object like a ball? So he's asking if I inserted round object like a ball in Dilux 4.3. So PG Gan, this is what I can only help you. So I suggested a tree. So because in the objects in Dilux 4.3, there's, there's no sphere or round objects. So PG Gan, this is the only way that I can teach you. So go to your object tab and then outdoor and then trees. And then select this tree one and then just insert it and now you will have your sphere or round and because it has a stem you need to remove the stem so go to your object again and then create um a good uh, go to the standard elements and create a cube insert a cube and then go to the plan view and then go to that uh, tree trunk go to the elevation and scale it so just scale it up okay if you can scale it out there this what change the height into 1.5 and okay so it will be look like this so once you have your uh, uh, tree tree and a box then you need to do is select the two objects and then uh, right click and then subtract and then you need to select the tree instead of the cube and then let's the subtract and now you have your amazing sphere now if you want to change the color of that one so go to the texture and uh, maybe go to the standard color maybe you want to color it with paper or metal that's drag and drop now you have your sphere in Dilux Evo 4 uh, sorry Dilux 4.13 now there's another solution but it takes uh, another software for you to do that if you have um, a software called Picon Planner just go so we'll open now the Picon Planner this Picon Planner is for free so I, I'm suggesting you to s install it to your uh, desktop and play with it because you can get a lot of amazing 3D objects if you have the Picon Planner so once you open your Picon Planner Okay, go to the 3D warehouse and then say you want to search for a sphere, then go and type sphere, then search, and then you will have your sphere here. So you can select this one for example and check, but make sure it's a very small uh, file because if it's a huge file then it will be it will have a big problem in your uh, calculation okay so it says it's 47.9 MB so it's a no-no so let's go back because it should be at least a KB file only not MB because if it's an MB then it's big problem so let's try this one and yeah, this one is 76 KB so go and download it and then say okay oh, this is big because okay and now just select two points there minimize this one and then view zoom extends all now you have your sphere and you can see it's big i think it's anyways so let's go and go to the file and then export geometry and then select the 3ds file and then say this one as sphere label it as sphere and then save and then go to the low only or minimum say low and then export now it's exported so go to your uh, dialux 4.13 again and then go to the file and then import and then object file or sorry 3d models and then go and select your 3d models and then i saved it in my documents and then i will look for my sphere here it goes sphere and then say it's a decoration object and they say next yeah it's in meters and then okay let's go back and make it centimeter because i'm sure it's big the next the next then finish now you have your amazing sphere here so yeah 
so that's how you will uh, create your sphere from Dialux Regular and from Pecan Planner. So I hope you like it. See you again later. So PG again, if you want to know more, go to my website www.enrocolightingdesign.com and then go to the tips and tricks and then go and scroll down. I think I remember one of my colleagues shared that uh, techniques to me. Yeah, you can see it's here creating a sphere from a tree object in Dialux. This is done by my colleague Sanjay Welkar. So you can download the PDF. The video is not yet published, but uh, you can download the PDF file. So once you click the PDF, it will teach you or guide you on how to do it step by step. So where's the PDF? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so it's from Sanjay. And yeah, so just what I did in the vid in this video, this is what Sanjay told me. So I just shared it to you also. So yeah, don't forget www.enrocolightingdesign.com and check the tips and tricks and scroll down and you will find this sphere. If you if you don't want to watch video, just go and download it and uh, read it in PDF. This one, okay? All right, bye bye.